Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. Ooh, so we have the Ten of Swords. So sometimes for me, um, seeing ones or seeing 111 or 1111 can be sometimes about new beginnings. Um, and we do have the Ten of Swords here. So there's like endings and new beginnings energy here, okay? Yeah, so somebody is healing from some type of painful ending or betrayal. Cannot be trusted. Yeah. False promises. For some of you, this is your twin that be, did betray you and that you did have a painful ending with, saying that they're ready to heal and they're ready to start growing up and changing and things like that. But the trust is gone. The trust is broken. Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands, which can be like a guarded energy. Like this person has put you through a lot. So you're definitely guarded towards whoever this person is. Clarify the Ten of Swords, the Three of Cups. So this could be somebody wanting to reconcile with you after um, a painful ending. It could also be that the, the betrayal, the painful ending was because of a third party. Or there was a third party involved in some way. So we have the Five of Cups and the Healing card. So that gives me the energy that somebody is in regret. And they are acknowledging that... They need to change. They need to heal. They need to grow up. Okay. That is also showing me that they feel remorse. They feel remorse for what they did to you. They know that what they did to you wasn't okay. They know that they need to change. Um, let's see. Hold on, guys. That's something in my freaking eye. We have Wheel of Fortune. I don't know, guys. We do have Cannot Be Trusted. So, you it was definitely... You were de definitely justified in not trusting this person in the past with a wheel of fortune here. That could, Spirit says something that could be changing, okay? Or maybe there was some type of divine intervention because the divine knew more than you knew. They knew that this person couldn't be trusted. Maybe you didn't know. We have undecided here. See, this is what I'm saying is like somebody is changing. It's like somebody that did hurt you, somebody that possibly had a third party, somebody that definitely was like, you know, either stringing you along or making you false promises, future faking you, um, took your kindness as weakness, took advantage of you in some way. This person is going through some type of significant change where they are now realizing that they messed up. They're in an energy of regret. They're acknowledging what they did wrong and that they need to change and that, you know, they can't keep going on this way, that they need to grow up. Um, they need to start making better choices. Um, it, it's like this person who like, you really felt like you couldn't ch trust, like they are changing, like and, and within this dynamic between you and this person, you, they've done things to the point where you don't trust them anymore. But with this wheel of fortune energy, it says a change in your love life. So, hmm. But I definitely see you guys guarded towards this person. So tell me more about this. We have the page of wands. This person may be coming in to tell you that they're making these changes. They may come in and take accountability for some things and express to you that, you know, they they know that they did you wrong, may apologize. They may tell you that, the, you know, they're wanting to change. They're wanting to grow up and be better for you. Mm, why is the five of swords here? The two of swords. I just see a lot of apprehensive energy when it comes to you guys. I do feel like you will get um communication from this person but it's hard for you now to discern between whether or not you can trust this person if they mean what they say or if they're just playing mind games with you so i don't know i just seem kind of indecisive about something yeah the eight of cups and the lessons card so maybe they're you know maybe this is also picking up on the energy of when the last time you were dealing with this person it was very clear that they were playing games with you or i don't know because we have walking away energy here and we have separation is necessary. Learning divine lessons. What about walking away? We have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Do I know any other signs? We have Sag of Pisces energy. We have Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, that's all we have for right now. Okay, I think. I'm not really looking too closely. Um, we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, let's start with my collective. We have the King of Pentacles, okay? And we have the Ace of Cups. Somebody is serious about you. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is quite serious about you. They want to be loyal. They want to be, they want something secure, stable with you. They want to be secure for you. Um, they want to be mature for you. They want to take this seriously with you. They have a lot of feelings and emotions for you, okay? But maybe this person didn't wasn't going to learn of this lesson. They weren't going to really come to terms with how badly they had messed up with you until you walked away from them. So I feel like you guys did walk away from them at a time when they were in this energy of like playing games with you or being very selfish or 
self self acting in their own best self interest things like that and this has led to this person going through a period of or it will lead to them going through a period of like self reflection where they're going to really regret how they treated you um they may even like feel like feel like they've lost you all right that feeling having to feel the heartbreak of losing you and but this is also pushing this person to change and grow because it's like I see them acknowledging that they lost you because they mishandled you. They didn't treat you properly. I do see that what they were messing, whatever they had going on with the third party, whatever the situation was. I do see that even if it's not right now, in the future, after I see that you have walked away from them, um, they will be realizing at some point that they messed up and they will be in regret. So what is that? What's the purpose of this coming through? So we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Hermit. So, what about the Knight of Wands, though? The Knight of Pentacles. It's like, this person's, like, going, they were, like, a player, or they were very, very fickle, wishy-washy, in and out. They hopped one from one person or thing to another. Um, they never stayed in one place very long. Um, they like to do, they like, they didn't like to have, like, they like to do whatever the hell they wanted to do, things like that, but it's, like, now this person's getting like they're becoming more like practical is that the right word i'm wanting to use for this person like as they're healing and as they're doing this introspection it's like they're kind of slowing down and they're like only like it's like they're they're being methodical like they're moving more strategically or hmm, like more yeah patient stable of taking things slow so Why are these two energies coming out? We have the Six of Cups, okay? We have the Six of Swords. It's like they're ready to move on from their past. It's like it's like somebody's ready to one is moving towards wanting to be, you know, being ready to settle down, if not already. It's like they're wanting to move on from that player energy. I did see this card when I was shuffling, okay? Um, so hard to let go resisting change. So they've been resisting making these changes and going through this growth process to some degree. So anything else? I see that they're they're kind of like, yeah, the world. So what about the world? A cycle ending, something coming to an end, the four swords. And we have the hiding feelings. So I feel like you maybe this person has already been going through this healing cycle. Maybe you guys have both been already going through a healing cycle. It just depends on how long you've been in separation from this person. If you just if you're not in separation with them already, okay, then you know this is not your uh reading or it just hasn't happened yet. For for those of you that have already been in separation for this from this person for quite some time and you've been healing and really focusing on yourself and really focusing on your self growth, if this is your twin, they've been most likely mirroring that energy. So um it's almost like the healing cycle is over like i feel like the what i'm kind of getting is that the separation is almost over between you and this person like the time of them caught you guys like healing and being withdrawn from each other i do feel like their separation was necessary but i feel like you guys are nearing a time where you know it will be safe for the two of you to come back into union um but definitely if, if you've if you have not gone into a long separation from this person then you used to have a long ways to go with this person Or separation will be necessary. I see that here. Um, but I feel like this person hasn't really expressed. Somebody hasn't expressed their true feelings and emotions. It could be to each other. You guys could both have like not expressed your true feelings and emotions to each other. But yeah, we have divinely guided. We have four of pentacles. Unawakened. Yeah, it was like the divine has been guiding you to hold back from this person while they were in this unawakened energy. It's like they've been giving you those nudges, those gut feelings, those signs, those synchronicities, those dreams, those just random downloads or visions or whatever they've been giving you. Oh, somebody out there. I think it's pouring outside. <laughs> um, but it's like, I feel like the divine has been guiding you to kind of pull back your energy and kind of like well because this person was unawakened they were only going to awaken after you pulled back um but i think you've been even though you pulled back from them or you will you guys will still hold on to each other yeah we had the emperor which is the divine masculine energy aries energy we have the eight of swords this person's the masculine is all up in their head about you yeah a long way they were the ones that were 
Yeah, it's going to take a while. That's why the divine was telling you, like, pull back. Don't keep putting yourself through these cycles or through this, whatever, this cycle with this person. Pull back. Focus on yourself. Focus on being the best version of you. Let them handle their business. And if this is meant to be, you guys will come back together. They want you as much as you want them. The, the, how strongly you feel this connection, they feel it too. So it's okay. It's like there was like this energy, you guys not feeling like it was safe to like completely detach or walk away or pull back from this person because there was a fear of losing them. Okay. So I just feel like spirit was definitely telling you to this person like had to learn how to save themselves or get themselves out of a situation or something like that. But I definitely feel like the divine has been guiding you. Yeah, we have, oh, money focus was, it flipped back over. So maybe they had to figure out how to get out of a situation in regards to like money. Oh, we have sexual encounter. What about that? Karmic partner. Oh, Lord. Forbidden. Differences, families. And there was some, yeah, lustful intent, sexual bond. What about sexual encounter? Judgment. Sexual encounter. What's the T? What about what's the T? Ten of Pentacles. And we have date. What's this have to do with anything? The page of pentacles and the frozen. It's like, hmm. Yeah, they've been going going through the dark night of the soul. You and this person have been. I feel like that time is coming to an end though. What does this have to do with my collective? The two of cups. You're the one that they feel the strong connection to, of course. Yeah, reunion. I see reunion here between the two of you. Yeah, king of cups. This per it's like this person's been trying to like suppress their feet. Yeah, taming a player, this card says. Yeah. It's like you're getting this player into their heart space. I feel like this person is used to being in connections that were very lust, you know, just lust based, having sexual encounters, codependent relationships. Um what is this? What's the tea? I was kind of getting gossip earlier. Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> Invitation, time together, page of pentacles. What is up with this? Um Karmic partner energy. Oh, that's not the right one. What is up with this karmic partner energy spirit? They could have married somebody or moved in with somebody, settled the but see, yeah, what about awakening? Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Cleanup. All I can say, guys, is that they knew what they wanted with you, but they were conflicted about this because they knew that they were gonna have to see, are they cutting this person off? They've been, they've been um, conflicted about whether or not they want to cut somebody off or not. Why? Because that person's giving something to them, Lord. Of course, of course, yeah. Temperance. And it's time, yeah. For the Ace of Wands, yeah, and the Hanged Man. Yeah, Page of Swords. The fool. Somebody's look. This person's looking at things differently. They have gained a new perspective, possibly through going through a karmic cycle with a karmic. Now they're looking at you differently. How are they seeing my collective? Divine timing. Queen of Cups. And we have the Five of Pentacles and the King of Wands. This person feels like they need to take action to overcome these obstacles to do something because they feel like they're losing your love they feel like you're leaving them out in the cold they feel like they're missing like your healing energy or your warmth or whatever this is but it's like this person knows that like to have something long-term and stable you have to go about things in the right way or in a certain way and it's like they know that the normal way that they go about things, like they can't approach you in that way. So it's like they're kind of taking their time because they want to do it right or something like that. Cold as ice. Seven of Wands. King of Swords. Seven of Wands. The oh, and we have the Hierophant. So what does that do with my collective? It's just like this person knows that they know that if you. If they, it's like they know that if they come towards you too prematurely, you'll reject them anyways. It's like they want to come towards you when they can, you know, put the money where their mouth is, which is funny because the girl has the money where they're on her mouth. Yeah, it's like, mm, yeah, it's like they feel like they need to come towards you. Like, if, uh, what's the point of me coming towards them? If I don't have anything to offer them, they're going to reject me anyways. So I'll have a better chance of not getting rejected if I get my shit together. Remove this karmic or these karmics from my life. 
get a stable and you know get my life together as much as possible and then approach them or come towards them it's like that type of energy all right so let's um get some oracles something else i don't know let's see so we have unforgiving give me one more card on unforgiving we have suspicious i feel like this is how you feel about them i just i've been seeing this energy in the collective readings for like a couple months now about somebody is like getting their shit together for you they are or they will and it's because you walked away from their ass and you woke them up and now they want to get their life together for you and they're coming back and, and they're coming back towards you kind of slowly because they want to come back towards you correct but i don't know how you guys are gonna be feeling about them by the time they get their shit together and come back okay um i see you guys being in this unforgiving energy and you being very suspicious of them coming towards you with this offer because you don't really trust anything that they say um it's like you're holding on to some type of animosity towards them because of something that they did to you yeah they played you before you're very uncertain when it comes to them. You just, you don't know if you can trust them, but we have purity here. It says their heart is gold. Their heart is gold and their intentions are pure. You don't have to question their motives when it comes to you. Okay, well, but remember that the spirit's not gaslighting here, you here. That you were completely valid. Your feelings are completely valid and feeling like this person, you couldn't trust them before. Like they definitely did some fucked up shit here. Okay, but yeah, this is one of those cases where, you know, people change and this person is changing. Yeah, this person's going to be coming towards you like with good intentions, all like wanting to be romantic and kind of a little bit low key obsessed with you. It's also like when this person comes back into, they're going to want to move things along with you very fast, which actually may scare you a little even more so. It's like they're going to be like ready to do it all with you. And you're going to be like, wait, <laughs> this person's intentions are swept to sweep you off your feet and make you fall for them. It's like they're going to be very determined to win you back here. Scarcity, though. They won't bring in the same effort in that you are willing to. Because of that, you will feel a lack in the connection that will make you feel like you're missing out on something. And have you wishing for more. What about scarcity? Devoured. They will consume your energy with cravings of lust and desire until you feel like you have been drained dry. What is this about? <laughs> this is a switch, switch in energy. Obs Didn't I say they were obsessed with you? They will hunt you down should you they ever start to feel you gravitate away from the connection. Like I said earlier, this person's not going to let you go, okay? Like, there's so many indicators here of this person not letting you go. You guys may go periods of time without speaking, or they may go quiet, and they may not say anything to you for a while, and you may feel like they're gone, but then they'll pop back up. This is a twin flame. So where is this heading? Because it was looking good. We have frustration. The lack of clarity. So for some of you, they may try to come in and win you back over when it's like they, they may try to come back and win you back over when they still got some work to do, right? They still got, they, they just don't still have enough to offer you, right? You deserve better. And I, I don't see them like, I see them that like them taking that up as a challenge kind of thing. It's gonna make them work harder for you, type thing. I don't know. The lack of clarity and uncertainty they bring into the connection will leave you feeling overwhelmed and frustrated. Give me more clarity on future energy. We have confusion. What is this confused energy? This person is unsure of what they want and will end up leaving a heavy energy of uncertainty surrounding the connection. Why do I feel like that's you guys? Yeah. This person will entice your energy and tempt you to try new things that will encourage you to leave your comfort zones and all inhibitions behind. I feel like that's what you've done for this person too, whether you know it or not. You've really, like you're showing them a whole new way of living or life or being and they've been confused about whether or not they want to like step into this new way of being and living or if they want to stay in their comfort zone the past. It's like, I don't know, but we have ghosting. They will pop in and out of your life with no reason or explanation. Have you questioning where they've gone? Breadcrumbing. See, so is it, they're coming back on this bullshit again. Nightmare. What is, the, okay. We got to figure out what's happening here. We have thirsty. They are burning with cravings and desire for you. And are yearning you to quench their hunger. This person wants you sexually or something they want from you. 
They may appear like they're ever see, be careful this person trying to trick you. Why not? Okay, so is this person going to come towards them with genuine? They are deeply saddened by the fact they lost out on you. That's what this person's been doing to you. They've been breadcrumbing you. They keep trying to tempt you to come back in. They keep leeching off of your energy. They keep trying to reel you back in whenever they think you're getting too far away from them. Then they ghost you. It, everything's always really confusing with this person. So what's going to be happening going forward with this Wheel of Fortune energy healing? We have the one and we have hidden love. So it says they have deep feelings for you, but you are, but are keeping them buried deep within and hidden from the world. And then we have the one. So it says they see you as the person that is meant for them. And the only one they could picture having a happy life with. And then on the back of that, we have nostalgia. Good and bad. They've been heavily reminiscing on what was and missing all the good despite the bad. So there's, okay, all I can say, guys, is be careful of this person, like I said earlier, coming back prematurely. I do feel like, I feel like the only way... You have to uh, let this person go through what they're going through. They, you got to let them feel like they want you, but they can't have you. You got to let them miss you. And they, you know, they got to feel that missing you and feeling the, the absence of you. And they have to experience these situations and things that they chose over you without the presence of you. It's like, there's just some things that you got to let this person go to go through. But since you guys do have this very magnetic connection and it's hard for them to stay away from you and it's probably hard for you to stay away from them too. Um, it's pretty much like Spirit is saying, stay strong. You know, stand firm on your boundaries. They know it's not going to be easy because this connection is very strong. But the only way I do see this person transforming into a much better version of themselves where they are really going to be, you know, they are going to be that person that you need them to be. But it's just not at the, this present moment. Um... You got to let this person go through this, whatever they're going through right now, because it, it's only going to hurt you. It's not going to be a good situation if you let this person back in right now, because fear says that they are confused. They're just trying to come in to get their needs met. They don't really have much to offer you. They will leave again. 